Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Dark Metal video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the Tech um, Trunks and Broly. So Tech Trunks and Broly, really interesting unit. Um, I think overall quite a solid unit as well. Uh, of course there's some issues and we're going to discuss those. But overall for a free to play unit, very usable and very high level content. Should they be used in air Wii content? Uh, no. Uh, so, especially in Omega Shenron, like Omega Shenron, especially the final phase, you know, in typing and also Zamasu in typing, it's just not great for them on a typing perspective. You know, if you like were to put in a comparison, if there was like an AOE unit that was AGL type, um, then you would consider really using them because they could get through the AOE phase, their defense after super is really, really good. Um, but yeah, the way that typings are right now and the events are constructed, it's just not great for them. Uh, they can handle the tech phase more than fine. Uh, you're going to see them here with just one super attack. You know, tank fine, do fine. Uh, they do good damage because they got that 50% crit chance. You know, they've got also those baked in additionals. So they're a very solid unit. Um, you know, for anyone wondering, they're great free to play units. I think they have a great kit. Definitely build them full additional. Uh, not like me who kind of went to split. Uh, full additional is definitely the way to go uh, and I'll probably correct them uh, a little bit with some spare copies of trunks that I have because yeah it's definitely a full additional build um, just find it to be 100% the best way to build them uh, but yeah overall uh, a great unit AoE events not their forte they don't have the highest start on defense it's not bad by any stretch of the imagination I think you're know, with support you're looking at like 230 240 uh, without support you're looking about like 180 190 it's not terrible um it's really honestly not terrible defense in any way shape or form it's not bad it's it's not you know um it's not bad it's, it's good um the thing is, is aoe events hit very hard you know we're looking at like 300 400k and there's no way to reduce that uh, it's not like some other events where you can lower attack or anything so they kind of get stuck where they are taking a lot of chip damage now off the super and they take very minimal damage. Um, their defense rises up huge with uh, supers. It also rises up with additional supers. Uh, as you can see, they tank really well after additional attacks. It's just that ultimately at the end of the day, uh, the typings are not there for them. So like the strength phase is fine. Uh, you'll take a bit of chip damage, of course. Uh, with the Whis, I think you take like 10k or 13k damage, which isn't bad. Uh, after super, they're not going to take any damage. Uh, even from a super attack, like they're going to be very strong, especially on a Whis. Without a Whis, uh, you're looking at like 100k in the strength phase, which is a lot. Um, it is a lot to take his chip damage. It's not so bad if it's only one, but if he starts firing like two AoE attacks, it is a bit of a problem for them. With that being said though, uh, they still are really, really good. Yeah, like you still have that damage from them. You still have that really, really, really good you know, kind of performance from them defensively and just in general very strong unit. Um, the problem is the end phase. Like the end phase, there's no realistic way unless you've saved a Whis and you like double Whis or something. There's just no realistic way they're going to be super useful in the end phase. I'm not saying you can't beat the event with them. I think you could, especially, you know, if you adjust this team build slightly, have a bit more dupes in some units, maybe link level them a bit. Um, you can 100% beat the event with them, but I just don't see how they're better than a lot of options you take and why you take them. They're going to be great for other events, longer form events, events that don't have AoEs, they're awesome. They're going to really be able to compete in red zone level events that aren't AoE. But an int AoE unit is madness. Uh, they just they just take too much, they just take too much damage. You know, you, they're going to take like 500k uh, a hit, it's not their fault either. There's not a lot of tech units that can just get hit by a 500k or like a 400k AOE attack and just kind of walk it off. Um, it's just not the case without guard or damage reduction or anything. And they don't have evasion and I don't think you should build them full evasion to use them in this one event. I just think it's not something you should do. Uh, so yeah, I think overall they are great and I think they are a ton of fun. Specifically in Red Zone, I am going to try them in a different event because I think it's unfair to try them in AoE events because they're not an AoE unit. Um, just going to showcase them, maybe in Broly or something else. Uh, but yeah, I think they are a great unit. I do really like them. Um, 
and I think they are really, really solid. But that's going to be it from me. I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, take care, stay safe, and let me know what you guys think about them. Bye.